two, one. Hey class, this is Mr. Lee. It's Wednesday, November 19th, 2014. I apologize right now to my other periods. This is being recorded at second period. At the time of this recording, I'm probably going to go after to like the doctor. So follow what I write and write this down. Today, we're going to go over adding and subtracting integers. And the two words that you guys have to write down are additive inverse and absolute value. Now, here's the bell work. I want you guys to pause this video and at least do problem number one. Problem number one is super easy. 10 minus 4, we know that's going to be 6. Now, the second part is going to be hard. It's going to be like this. We're going to do KFC. And like I was saying yesterday, KFC doesn't stand for Kentucky Fried Chicken. It stands for Keep, Flip, and Change. We're going to keep the first number. So that's going to be 4. We're going to flip that subtraction symbol into an adding sign. And then we're going to change the 10 into its opposite. So it becomes negative 10. All right, so we have an adding problem now. It's 4 plus negative 10. And yesterday, I was trying to teach you guys pirates versus ninjas. Pirates mean positive numbers. So pirates are, are plus, and ninjas are negative. So anything with a negative symbol is a ninja. Now, here's how this goes. What has a bigger army, the four pirates or the ten ninjas? And for the people who are wondering, that's my second period. So, say hello, second period. Hello. All right, that's a shout out to... So, we know that the ninjas have a bigger army. So, that means their flag is going to be on the other side. It's going to be the answer. So, now, we're going to see how many pirates kill how many ninjas. So, there's four pirates. How many ninjas can they kill? Well, it looks like they get to kill four four ninjas. So that leaves me with six ninjas behind, or the answer is negative six. Now, I had a student earlier said, Mister, that number one and number two, they have opposite. I apologize about that. So, we look at number 3, and it's negative 7 minus positive 3. So, we're going to KFC it. We're going to keep negative 7. We're going to flip the subtract into add, and we're going to turn positive 3 into this opposite, negative 3. If I have 7 ninjas, and I combine it with 3 ninjas, how many ninjas do I have? I've got 10 ninjas, or I have negative 10. Now, what happens if I have 3 minus a negative 7? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the 3. I flip the subtract into what? I, sub I flip them into add. And I turn the negative 7 into his opposite, which is positive 7. So what's 3 pirates plus 7 pirates? 10 pirates. Now, earlier I said a, a student told me that these numbers are opposite. And an opposite, 6 and negative 6. The fancy word for opposite is additive inverse. So whenever you see the word additive inverse, you know you're looking for his opposite. So the opposite of 6 is negative 6. The opposite of negative 10 is 10. These are called additive inverse. Now, I want you guys to draw a number line. And on this number line, in the middle, we have 0. On the left-hand side, we've got negatives. And on the right-hand side, we've got positives. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We learned that additive inverse this means opposite. This equals the opposite. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have negative 10 right here on the left-hand side and positive 10. We'll also have positive 5 and this additive inverse, negative 5. So let's do some quick examples of additive inverse. C, D, E, F, and G. All right, welcome back, guys. So we have six problems, A through G, and we're going to find their opposites, their additive inverse. So the opposite of 5 is what? Well, that's negative 5. The opposite of negative 10 is 10. The opposite of 3 has to be negative 3. The opposite of negative 9 is 9, and the opposite of 1 is negative 1. Our last one right here, opposite of negative 2, that's going to get me 2. All right, so these are called additive inverse. Do not get confused with additive inverse with this word. I'm going to take this up. And this word, all right, sorry about that, guys. I have to pause. So absolute value is the distance between a number and zero. And what does additive inverse mean? If you said opposite, you're right. So do not confuse additive inverse with the absolute value. Now, we're going to draw another number line. And on this number line, we have 0, and we've got 10, and negative 10. Now, here's the thing. We know the, we know the opposite of negative 10 is 10. But the absolute value, and here's the absolute value symbol. The absolute value symbol are these really long and dark braces like this. So absolute value of negative 10. How many spaces does it take for me to get from negative 10 to 0? It takes me 10 because I can go 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It takes me 10 spaces to get to 0. So the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. What's the absolute value of 10 then? Is it negative 10? No. How many spots does it take for me? That's 10. This is absolute value and 10. And it takes me 10 spots to get to 0. All right. We're going to do about six examples right here. All right. This is a raw video feed, so I apologize for my YouTube audience. So there's, it's going to be kind of choppy with these weird edits. Right now, we're doing six problems on absolute value. So how many spaces does it take for these numbers to get to zero? So letter A, absolute value of negative one. Here's my number line, negative one. How many jumps does it take for negative one to get to zero? It takes one jump. How many jumps does it take for me to get from 3 to go to 0? 1, 2, 3. The absolute value of 3 is 3. Let's think of his opposite, though. What if I did the absolute value of negative 3? It's also going to be 3. All right. The absolute value of 4 is what? It's going to be 4. Right now, for my video audience, I want you guys to pause and do E, D, E, and F. Welcome back. Let's check your answer now. The answer for D, the absolute value of 5, is 5. Now, these ones are big numbers, but they shouldn't trick us. Imagine that we wrote a really big number line. So, the absolute value of negative 25 is 25. And the absolute value of negative 100 is 100. Here we go. Shh. All right. Now, this, this video is about, I'm going to estimate, hopefully, 18 minutes long. The last part that we're going to do is this. We're going to do a quick thing of 
KFC again. So KFC is keep, flip, and change. And this is only for subtracting. You guys might have seen these problems already. And if you have, that's great. Because you're going to practice on these. So right now, if you're watching this video, pause it and try to subtract them with keep, flip, and change. Oh, shh. All right, welcome back. So number one, we're going to keep negative three. We're going to flip plus right here. And we're going to change four into negative four. So negative three plus negative four is going to get me seven ninjas or negative seven. Now, as I scroll down, look at how number five shows up. If you're done with all this already, look at number five and do the challenge prompt for number five as I explain two, three, and four. Now, for number two, I have four, which I keep. I flip into add, and I do the opposite, which is nine. Four plus nine gets me 13. I'm going to do number three now. I'm going to keep two, I flip into add, and what's the change for six? What's its opposite? Well, that's a negative six. I've got a new pirate versus ninja problem. So, two pirates versus six ninjas. We know the ninjas are going to win since there's more of them. So, two pirates, here's my six ninjas, two of them are going to die. So that leaves me with four Ninjas, it's negative four. Now, number four, I keep the seven, I turn this into add, and what's the opposite of negative three? That gets me three. What's bigger, seven or three? Well, that's seven. Who's this flag? The flag is negative, so the answer will be negative. Negative seven plus three will get me a negative four. Last one right here, it's number five. I have negative one, Minus negative 1, minus a negative 1, minus a negative 1. My hint is do this step by step. So I'm going to keep negative 1. I'm going to change this into add. And then I'm going to turn this into negative 1. I'm going to rewrite all the stuff that I don't use. So I don't use this minus this negative one, this minus, or this negative one. So now I've got negative one plus a negative one. Two, negative one ninja plus a negative ninja, I get two ninjas. So now I'm going to do KFC for this part. I change, I flip this minus into add, and I turn negative one into its opposite, which is regular one. Then I write whatever I don't use. So I don't use this subtract, and I don't use this minus. So negative one plus one. Two ninjas plus one pirate, I get one ninja. Now I'm going to change this guy. So I have plus, and I'm going to get my opposite, which is one. The answer is zero. All right, so this ends the KFC practice. Right now, what you guys are going to do who are watching this video, you're going to go onto my learn. And on my learn, shh, I'm still recording. I have integer football, integer eater, and integer racer. Now, this video not only teaches you how to play or do math, but I'm going to teach you how to play this game. So the first game that I'm going to activate is Integer Football. When I click on this, I'll click on the link. It takes me to this game right here. It's made by Math Goodies, and you're going to, instead of playing the NFL, you're going to play the IFL. Just like in football, you'll start at the zero yard line. And then you're going to gain yardage, so that means you move to the right. If you lose yardage, you move to the left. Each play picks up from the last question. To answer, you have to click on the red yard line. You win once you get a touchdown. So I have play right now. So here I go. My first question is, the running back 
runs for a loss of two yards. Since I started at zero, I have to find two yards. So I move to the left by two. And my running back goes over by two. So I'll hit next. The wide receiver caught a pass for a nine-yard gain. So right now, I'm at the two-yard line. So I'm from minus two. I have to go over to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to be at the seven-yard line. So I'm going to keep on answering these until I get myself a touchdown. Now, the other game is called integer either. Back when I was growing up, actually, they called this munchkin. And this is kind of how I learned how to do adding and subtracting fractions. So when I activate this game, you go to who the math. And here's what you do. You have an option of doing adding or subtracting. I'm going to pick subtracting. Right now, I look on the right-hand side, and I read that they want me to find any answers that get me negative 3. I have to use my arrow keys and the enter button to eat any answer that gets me negative 3. So my first one's right here, negative 3 minus 0. So I hit space bar. Once I eat the first answer, a monster shows up, and he'll chase me. So negative 1 minus 2 also gets me negative 3. You beat the game if you eat all the answers. You lose lives, you have 3 lives, so if I hit negative 4 minus 0, I lose a life. So watch out about that. The last game is called Integer Racer. An Integer Racer, you guys can play against each other. So what happens is, you go to Academic Builders, and you hit play. And you type in your name, Mr. Lee is in pain, and then you can pick and host the game right here. So if I want to host the game, I hit create. Or if I wanted to join the game, I hit play now. So I could customize my ship and start the game. So it counts down and I race against four of my classmates. So to get like an acceleration, I have to do negative one plus zero. And I know or negative one plus negative one plus negative one? Negative two. Negative, two. negative one plus four. That's one ninja plus four pirates. That's going to get me three. So that you go faster if you answer more and if you answer the most. Negative four plus negative four is negative six. Anyway, guys, this concludes my video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.